well wishers and welcome to my channel Aspiring Minds. Today I have a special treat for you poetry enthusiasts out there. I'll be delving deeper into the most iconic poems in English literature, Daffodils by William Wordsworth. Did you know that this poem is also famously known as I wandered lonely as a cloud and this poem is given the title based on the first line of the poem In the first stanza of Daffodils by William Wordsworth the poet takes us on a journey with a very important metaphor what is this metaphor or comparison that the poet makes he compares himself to a wandering cloud that is moving about aimlessly without any aim target where over the valleys and hills and suddenly the fact that the poet is alone his loneliness is interrupted as he sees a very breathtaking sight a host of golden daffodils by a serene lake and these daffodils are just not on its own but the daffodils are fluttering and dancing in the breeze so this beautiful sight captures the attention of the poet Here is a representation for you of a phrase mentioned in stanza 1 that floats o'er high on vales and hills the word vales means valleys and o apostrophe er that means over so just as the clouds keep floating over the valleys and hills similarly the daffodils are all laid out in the field and not just one daffodil or a few but a host of daffodils and the poet describes them as being golden colored What is the location that the poet mentions this is a beautiful picture that shows you that these daffodils the poet watches when he had been walking beside the lake and beneath the trees this is a very apt representation of it imagine if you two were walking through this valley such a beautiful sight it would have been so many beautiful golden yellow colored daffodils all laid out Moving on to stanza 2 the poet compares the endless beauty of the daffodils to the stars that twinkle in the milky way he describes how these daffodils stretch along the shoreline of a bay in an unending line the imagery over here becomes even more impressive as he claims to have seen 10000 daffodils at a glance all tossing their heads in a lively energetic dance So you see how the poet is making a comparison just as there are endless number of stars that shine in the milky way it is very difficult almost impossible to count the number of stars similarly when the poet is walking through this area in the valley he sees a field full of daffodils and similarly you cannot count how many are there he is giving an estimate a very rough estimate that he sees 10000 daffodils at a glance because here too it is very difficult to count number of daffodils that he sees in stanza 3 the poet brings us to the dynamic relationship that is there between the daffodils and the waves in the lake while the waves themselves are dancing that is how the poet describes them the daffodils seem to outshine them with their joy energy and exuberance so wordsworth over here acknowledges that even a person who is very cold at heart he has no feelings emotions left he's feeling let down maybe a person like the poet himself as he was feeling at that time very cold no sense of warmth or emotions even that person cannot but feel happy in the company of such vibrant beautiful elegant looking flowers as the daffodils now before we begin reading stanza 4 tell me what is your favorite memory that comes to your mind and it starts appearing in front of you as if it's happening live even though that event has happened long long ago 
comment down below because when we arrive in stanza 4 the poet over here reveals that this memory of having seen so many daffodils has had a lasting impact on his mind he explains how during the moments when he's sitting alone in solitude or he's lost in deep thought the memory of these daffodils flashes before what his inward eye that is his imagination he suddenly starts imagining this memory of having seen so many daffodils all at once and then it fills his heart once again with the same pleasure and he starts feeling that same energy and he dances alongside the daffodils even when he's lying on his couch so you know that memory just brings him back to life so what is your favorite memory something similar to this do let me know in the comment section down below here is a pyramid for you on the 10 most important themes that i have put together from the poem daffodils so let's get started nature's beauty and power the poem celebrates the beauty and power of nature the image of the golden daffodils dancing by the lake evokes a sense of wonder and awe Wordsworth emphasizes the ability of nature to inspire the spirit the will the inner thoughts feelings and emotions of human beings similarly solitude and reflection how does this come out in the play in the poem the speaker initially feels very lonely as if like a cloud wandering in the sky but the sight of the daffodils stay with him and bring him the peace in moments of solitude the memory of the scene becomes a source of comfort and reflection for the poet imagination and memory imagination you have a phrase in the poem inward eye so the poem highlights the role of imagination and memory the memory of the daffodils continues to live vividly in the poet's mind even when he's lying on his couch this shows the power of human mind to recreate and relive the moments of beauty and inspiration Next the poet shows how this poem is a source of joy and happiness the daffodils are portrayed here as a source of joy and happiness the poet suggests that the sight of the daffodils is so enchanting that even in the bleakest saddest of times the memory of the scene can bring back pleasure and delight the sublime the poem touches upon the concept of sublime where the overwhelming beauty of the natural world shows or brings out the powerful emotions and the poet is transcended or transported momentarily from his present worries and tensions to another world where he can think about important deeper issues next connection with nature wordsworth often emphasized the importance of a deep connection between human beings and nature in this poem the speaker's interaction with the daffodils shows how nature can have a profound deep and lasting effect on our emotional and spiritual well-being timelessness the memory of daffodils remain with the speaker transcending time that is this picture of having seen the daffodils this event occurred long long ago but the memory seems still fresh in the mind of the poet next inspiration for art wordsworth now believe that when you meet with nature when you feel that you know oneness with nature it can create a lot of artistic creativity in the minds and hearts of people so in daffodils the poet suggests that the memory of the daffodils serves as a, as a kind of inspiration for his future poetic endeavors next simplicity and purity the daffodils are presented as symbols of purity and simplicity their natural beauty and unpretentious elegance evokes a sense of innocence 
and purity it is such a pure innocent serene memory that the poet has fresh in his mind an emotional response to nature the poem captures the deep emotional response that nature can evoke or bring out in an individual the speaker's emotional reaction to the daffodils highlights how it can have a deep impact when you have a deep connection with the natural world So there you have it the stanza wise summary of daffodils by William Wordsworth this poem beautifully captures the awe inspiring power of nature to uplift human spirit and bring peace and solace even when he is alone So that's it from this video I hope you liked it do hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more such future updates Thank you for watching. Bye.